I'll just show you a very simple technique, you can try this out, where you use your non-dominant hand as the holding hand, extend your index finger to become sort of the hanger for the instrument. That gives you the freedom to use both your thumb and your other fingers on the side to mute or allow the instrument to ring, creating two sounds, open and muted. And so you'll very often hear this style of playing in some of the Latin American music and especially in Brazil, the triangle is a very popular instrument inside of bossa nova and samba and popular styles. So a couple patterns to get started with. Um, here's one you hear also frequently in pop rock music. So it sounds like mute, mute, ring, mute, mute, ring. So that particular sound, I always think of um, that Peter Gabriel song back in the day, In Your Eyes, you always hear So that's the classic style of creating that rhythm. Another application of the triangle is in Brazilian bossa nova music, where you can actually play the clave on the triangle. It would sound a little bit like this. If we take the rhythm itself and then transfer it to the triangle, we would hear this. One final point to consider is the weight of the triangle that you select. In certain clinical situations, you may want to think about the purpose of using the triangle, whether it's purely musical or whether it may be for rehabilitative purposes, where you're actually working on developing strength and hand dexterity, and perhaps helping somebody regain strength and maintain the endurance. So this particular triangle is actually rather weighty. You might want to consider starting with a lighter triangle, a more standard grade, which would be considerably lighter and the person would fatigue, you know, over a far greater length of time. So just two things to consider when you add the triangle into your repertoire and sharing this little bit of information with the clients can greatly increase their motivation and curiosity about using the instrument.